History remembers names like Ptolemy, Copernicus, and Newton. But hidden in the shadows of the Islamic Golden Age is a mathematician whose work quietly shaped all of them. His name was Abu al-Wafa al-Buzjani. Born in the year 940 in the region of Buzgan, in what is now eastern Iran, Abu al-Wafa grew up at the crossroads of Persian, Greek, and Islamic knowledge. This was not an age of isolated scholars. It was an age of synthesis, and Abu al-Wafa mastered it. By his early adulthood, he had traveled to Baghdad, the intellectual capital of the world. There, under the Abbasid Caliphate, he joined the circle of astronomers and mathematicians working in and around the House of Wisdom. But Abu al-Wafa did not simply preserve ancient mathematics. He rebuilt it. Greek trigonometry was limited, fragmented, and often impractical. It relied heavily on geometric shortcuts and lacked the precision required for advanced astronomy. Abu al-Wafa saw the problem and solved it. He formalized and expanded trigonometry into a full mathematical system. For the first time in history, the tangent and secant functions were defined, named, and used systematically. He produced the most accurate sign tables of the medieval world, calculated to extraordinary precision, accuracy that would not be matched in Europe for centuries. This was not abstract math. It was essential. Astronomers relied on Abu al-Wafa's trigonometry to calculate planetary motion, eclipses, and star positions. Architects used it to design domes and complex structures. Engineers applied it to mechanical systems. Even religious life depended on it, determining prayer times, and the direction of Mecca required exact calculations. Abu al-Wafa also corrected errors in Ptolemy's astronomical models, showing that ancient authority could be questioned and improved. This was revolutionary. Centuries before Europe embraced mathematical rigor, Abu al-Wafa insisted on precision, verification, and repeatable results. His work bridged pure mathematics and applied science in a way that defined the scientific method long before it had a name. And yet, outside academic circles, his name is almost unknown. When European scholars later built modern trigonometry, they inherited a system already refined, but the credit rarely followed the math back to Baghdad. Abu al-Wafa al-Buzjan did not conquer lands. He conquered uncertainty. He transformed trigonometry from a tool of approximation into a science of precision, laying foundations that modern astronomy, navigation,